we interrupt this shanty housecraft to show you guys how to build a DIY metal and square coffee table for under $100. So let's build it. The first thing we're going to be doing on this table is going to be building the top. And this is super simple. We're going to be using barn wood for the top of it. And where do we find the barn wood? You can find it at Lowe's and Home Depot, or you could find it on a barn, on an old barn. That's right, you can go take a barn down. If you're lucky enough. It's a great idea, Ashley. All right, so we are actually starting with a piece of plywood. This is just three quarter inch plywood. It's the cheapest that I could find at the hardware store. And we have it cut to size. So I use my table saw to cut it down to size. So for this table, we're cutting our square to 33 inches. You can make yours a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, whatever suits you. And if you don't have a table saw, you can have the hardware store cut it for you, or you can use a Craig Jig rip cut, which is a great alternative to a table saw. We'll add the link in the description box below. So now let's talk barn wood. So I found the cutest barn wood at the hardware store the other day. Like Ashley said, Lowe's and Depot both sell different planks. These were like, I think $4 a plank, and I only needed six of them, so it was super inexpensive. And what I love is that the finish is already done, so Ashley and I don't have to do anything after we're finished with it. Winning! Yes. So, with this one right here, these are all five and a half inches wide. These planks come five and a half inches wide. So, we are going to go ahead and cut squares. So, we're going to make them how long? 33 inches. No, they're squares. <laughs> if I'm cutting squares and one side is five and a half inches. <laughs> five and a half inches. <laughs> so Ashley, for getting that question wrong, is going to go make some cuts for us over on the saw. Okay, so I am marking five and a half inches because like Whitney said, this is a five and a half inch wide board. So we're going to cut them five and a half inches so they're all perfect squares, not 33 inches. And if you don't have a miter saw, you can actually use a jigsaw for this, or a cirque saw. Okay, one down, only 35 more to go. We have squares. All right, so now is the fun part. We're gonna be attaching all of this wood to our plywood, and you can really have fun with this part. We thought it'd be great to rotate the way that our grain is going, because you kind of get a better pattern on top of the table. And tell what we're gonna be using to attach it. We are using our pin nailer to attach, because it's not gonna leave any holes on the top, so we don't have to worry about filling, since it is pre-finished barn wood, and the glue is gonna hold the pieces to the plywood. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing now, gluing and nailing. All right, so Ash is going to do the gluing for me, and I'll come behind and start nailing it down. All right, we're getting a little shiny cam action. We need some cool music right here. Sorry. Bound chicken bound. I love this table. So I'm really just literally, I'm going to go and make a little glob of glue. I'm literally going and placing them side by side and gluing them down. Especially if I don't get glue all over my hands. All right, Glue-y. that's bowed. And y'all can see too, like some of these are like different thicknesses and different widths, but I kind of love the pattern and the texture that it gives this table. I do too. It was a really smart idea, Whitney. Well, you know what's even better? I'm so glad we have a table saw. And don't worry, because if you have just a little bit of an overhang, we can take that over the table saw once we're all said and done and get it nice and straight. All right, Ash stepping in, doing a little bit of work herself. Brought in the reinforcements. That's right. All of these attached now, now it's time for the trim, and then we're almost done. That's right, so at this point, y'all can see the pattern, it's so dang cute. We're actually gonna flip it over on its front now. Attempting not to get a splinter. The wood that we're using for the trim is the same wood that we use for the top of the table, but Whitney has gone and ripped the pieces in half with her table saw. 
So we gotta make sure too that we keep this edge facing up and give us a little bit of extra right there. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of giving Ashley a spot to mark so she can go make the first 45 degree angle and then we'll hold it up in place and mark for the second one. Okay, so I've gone and made the first 45 degree cut and we do that so that we can bring it back to the table and you're gonna line it up so that that back part of the angle touches the corner of this tabletop. And then we're gonna go and mark right here where the next, that's where the angle should start. The 45 should start, that should be the shortest point. So I make a mark there and then I go and make a mark on the top so that I can see it on my table saw. And I make a little dash out to the side so I know that that's the way the angle goes because I've learned from my mistakes. So now we have two 45 degree angles. We are going to put some wood glue on it. Oop, a little over glue. And we're gonna use the pen nailer again to attach it. exact same thing for all three sides. Tip for the final piece, I like to flip the miter to where the corners touch each other and then I just go over here and I mark where that's going to be and then I'll do a dash so that I make sure that I do it the right side. You're so smart! Final piece, perfect fit. So now I'm going to wood glue and pen nail. And then it's time to add the legs, right? The yeah. base. Something like that. <laughs> Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> oh, All right. awesome. Okay, good. All right, so we have got the tabletop done. We have our trim done on the side. Now the fun part. Let's talk about this base. So we found the cutest base with a top on Amazon, but it was so inexpensive, 50 bucks, same day free shipping. We didn't want to use the top, but we are absolutely going to use the base of this table to form our table. Okay. So what we're going to do is line this up and get it nice and centered, and then we will attach it using wood screws. All right, so right now I'm using wood screws that are just, these are about an inch and a quarter long, and they're gonna go through, you wanna just make sure that the head of them is wide enough to where it won't go through the hole that's on the base. And I'm just gonna stick that in there. And nail it in place, and it's super secure. Screw it in place. You said oh, what did it. I say? Nail it. Oh, yeah, don't nail it. We're gonna screw this one. Okay, one more. And then we get to flip this table right side up. Flip it, change it, rearrange it. Okay. All right, we got our last one in. And now, Ash, I'm gonna need your help to get me to flip this table over. On my way. Thank you. Enter beast mode. <laughs> so let's flip this over and show you guys how stinking cute this coffee table is. Look at that. So cute. I love it. It's like the perfect size. This will be so cute up in their family room. I bet our kids will be on top of it all the time. Good thing we built it strong. That's right. It's the only way we do build, right? True. All right, we got a lot to do. Now we need to get this on the trailer so that we can get all this furniture over to Leisha's house and crash her house. Road trip! <laughs> TV rolling. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs>